going to let us do what we want to do and we'll get a free run. Need to stay concentrated and act like they just haven't even won one yet. No, and by the looks of it there as well, Grunewagen has a sweeper. He's got one rider on his back wheel. I'm guessing, Robbie, that would be uh, something they'd like to protect, to keep his back wheel clear of potential uh, case balls and others who might be looking to sit on it and try and pop off. Well, quite possibly, or just making sure that Dylan stays just that little bit closer to the front and have a rider behind him. If something goes wrong, they can swing around, bring him back into position and find his way. And uh, They definitely don't want him to get caught too far back, and I think that's the, the idea of having someone behind him that he just rides a little bit further up in, in the order for the moment until it is the time to go and form that sprint train and really pull him all the way into the finish. And then you'll see that rider get back up in front. Ah, I'm sure all of you watching at home will be saying this. Come on, Mateus, what a ride by him. This is a great late attack, the sort of thing I, 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 I want to champion and I want to see more often, Robbie. It's always good to see a rider who is not content to sit back and just let the sprint happen in the way we think it would. And this is a great ride by him. Yeah. He is going to be reeled in, though, by the looks of it, but it's so close. 2K to go. Yep, 2K to go, just four seconds, so they're coming up on him. But it's something we really don't see often. Well, we saw it last week for the first time I've seen it in, in I don't know how long with Quinn Simmons. Sorry for anyone who hasn't watched the replays yet, but you should have already. It's there. There you go. I said it. It's not a spoiler. It's just what happened. But Simmons did it. He held off the, the sprinting pack, but Norsgaard, he will not today because they already have him. Jacob Alula on the front, and they're just feathering it at the moment, not going full gas, waiting for Grunewegen and, and the rest of the team to just get themselves in position before they really go with everything. There's Felix Engelhardt on the front there. Astana up in good numbers, Robbie, as well, by the looks of it. And Case Ball is tucked in on the back of them. He's up alongside Dylan Groenewegen there in that green leader's jersey as well. Yeah, I mean, you'll see a lot of riders looking to Groenewegen and trying to get that wheel because they, they just know it was so dominant yesterday. There'll be some that are just trying to follow that will put themselves in position and others that'll just try and dominate and see if they can get Kuruwegen a little bit caught out. So Astana, Kazakhstan there in the middle with Case Bolt. He's the man right next to Kuruwegen at the moment. Oh, just sliding through the middle. Another one of the Jaco Alula riders and that was Mezgek himself. So Mezgek has got himself up and where he needs to be. Talking to Kuruwegen now. Head to the side, little chat. Told, wait for it, don't go quite yet. Now they're just cruising up and tracking the rest, and now they're going to make their own run down the right hand side. Here they go, the Australian team in blue and white. This is the shot from the actual finish line as well. You can see Gronovegan very clear, they're getting pushed so hard. In fact, I think we can see Case Ball just surfing the very edge of the road there. He is up alongside him. He's got uh, Jonathan Milan, who's got on the back wheel. Milan is on the back wheel of Gronovegan. Everything so far has gone perfectly for J.K. Alula. And this is the moment at which they've got to deliver Dylan Gronovegan. We're inside the final 500 metres here. And down Watch to the barriers. Oh, so close to them as well. Mezgets once again is the final man by the looks of it. The final man to drop him off. Luca Mezgets is going to go as long as he can. But Case Ball's gone early. Case Ball kicks early and he's got alongside him. Jonathan Milan is giving him a right run for his money here. What has Dylan Gronewegen got left? Milan has opened for the line. Jonathan Milan, what a finish by him. But Gronewegen, Gronewegen just on the dip. I think. Good timing of him to get over the top of the J.K. Walula train, swing back into the right, and it sort of closed Grunewegen in, and he had to pick up the wheel and then try and re-accelerate. But Milan, look at that determination. It was, for a long time, looking like disaster for Bahrain Victorious with Petrago out the back. And in the end, they've got Petrago back, and then, even though he looks unsure for mine... It's Jonathan Milan who got it. Wow. It looks like it's been confirmed. Wow, yep. The 22-year-old Italian from Tolmezzo gets what I think is the second win of his pro career on the road as well. That was impressive for a man who's known for his track background, um, showing some real state.